what is happening? I am Minnesota Vikings man 28, and the NFL season is over. Yes, the 2019-2020 NFL season is over. Everything's depressing. I mean, unless, you know, the XFL turns out to be good. So, you know, we'll find out. Um, but today, on Monday, the day after the Super Bowl, I am going to recap this season. So, first off, we're going to go off with statistical leaders in passing yards. Jameis Winston was first place. Of course, Buccaneers having to come back uh, because of his interceptions. 5,109 yards. Dak Prescott, second place, 4,902. Jared Goff, 4,638. Philip Rivers, 4,615. And Matt Ryan, 4,466. Now, as you can see, none of these quarterbacks made the playoffs. These are just to patch up their stats because they were always behind. Rushing yards. Derrick Henry, 1,540. And did even better in the playoffs. Should have used him more against the Chiefs, but did not do that. Nick Chubb, I mean, you know, best Cleveland Brown on offense this year, 1,494. McCaffrey, 1,387. Uh, started out very hot, then sort of tapered down a little bit. Ezekiel Elliott, 1,357. Chris Carson, 1,230. Um, so technically, if we're being very technical here, only one of these running backs made the playoffs. Yes, Chris Carson, uh, you know, he's on the Seahawks, made the playoffs, but he's not playing the playoffs. So, receiving yards. Michael Thomas, Offensive Player of the Year, well deserved by him, 1,725. I, I, I mean, out yardage, all these other players. Julio Jones, 1,394, good win, 1,333. Kelsey, the tight end. Ooh, 1,229 in Devontae Parker, 1,202 Fitzmagic giving him um, the ball a lot. Now our defensive leaders, Bobby Wagner, 159 tackles. Blake Martinez from the Green Bay Packers, 155. Jordan Hicks, 150. Buda Baker from the Cardinals, 147. So Cardinal players getting their tackles and Luke Keekley 144. And congrats on your retirement. Uh, sacks, Shaquille Barrett, 19 and a half, Chandler Jones, 19, Cameron Jordan, 15 and a half, Daniel Hunter, 14 and a half sacks, and TJ Watt, 14 and a half sacks. Interception, Stefan Gilmore tied for first place with six interceptions, along with Anthony Harris from the Minnesota Vikings, Tredavious White from the Bills, and now five interceptions by Kevin Bird and Minka Fitzpatrick. So now team stats. We're going to this is regular season stats. Cowboys have the had the best overall offense. You know how to come back a lot. Lamar Jackson's offense gets second. Tampa Bay in third. San Fran in fourth. And Atlanta in fifth. So you know, not too surprising there. Passing Jameis Winston, of course, number one number one in yards. Of course, they're going to be number one passing. Cowboys in second. Falcons in third. Rams in fourth. And Chiefs in fifth. Rushing, Mark Ingram and Lamar Jackson getting it done, making themselves in first place. Over that means sixty yard, sixty uh, yard margin for rushing. 49ers, Raheem Mostert, Tevin Coleman, second place. Derek Henry, Karen, and the, the Titans in the third place. Seahawks fourth place, and Cowboys fifth place. Defense. New England Patriots first in total defense. Of course, you know the people on their schedule. San Fran is second, Bills in third, Ravens fourth, and Steelers fifth. Passing defense, we got the San Francisco 49ers. Second is the New England Patriots. Third is the Pittsburgh Steelers. Fourth is those Buffalo Bills. And fifth is the Los Angeles Chargers. I do not know how that is possible, but, you know, it is possible. Rushing defense, Tampa Bay, who would have thought? Probably have a bad passing defense, so, you know, and rushing defense, number one. Jets, number two. Eagles, number three. Saints, four. And Ravens, five. So Vikings did not make any um, of these lists. Um, you know, defense didn't play so good this year. And, the you know, rushing was, you know, good by Dalvin Cook, but he did get injured. So, yeah. So playoff standings. Oop, let me go up. 
let me go up. So we got number one seed Baltimore Ravens fourteen and two, Chiefs twelve and four, Patriots twelve and four, um, and you know Dolphins beat the Patriots week seventeen, which helped Kansas City get a bye week. Fourth was Houston, fifth Buffalo, sixth Tennessee, um, and then you have all these other ones. Um, I don't know how Steelers stayed in it. And then, of course, you got your Cincinnati Bengals, who are number one seed in the NFL draft. Uh, for the NFC, 13-3, San Francisco 49ers, 13-3, Green Bay Packers. A lot of lucky wins by the Packers, so they got the number two seed. Of course, not number one because of San Fran beating the Packers in the regular season. Uh, New Orleans, third place, 13-3, Eagles, NFC East. I don't know. They need to do this, some reseeding. Uh, for the playoffs, 9-7, Seahawks 11-5, and Vikings 10-6. and six. So, and the Rams, you know, almost, you know, having a late surge, uh, but, you know, got that stopped by the Dallas Cowboys. So that really prevented them from competing with the Vikings. And finally, we got the NFL playoffs. NFL playoffs. And the wild card Bills blowing a 16-point lead against the Texans. And the Texans win 22-19 in overtime by the Watson uh, escape and then the titans beating the new england patriots oh boy um that was a shocker um derrick henry run all over the patriots and the patriots offense can do squat and then the vikings the upset 26 20 in overtime kirk cousins balling now dalvin cook running and running and then the seahawks beat the eagles no surprise injury that was the injury bowl um, in the divisional round, Titans upsetting the number one seed, Ravens 28-12. to That was a, man, smackdown. Uh, Chiefs, um, after being down 24 points, they beat the Texans 51-31. That's, I mean, that comeback, amazing. And that was only in one quarter. And then the 49ers, after the Vikings and 49ers were close at halftime at 14-10, to Niners leading. Niners took a full advantage and won 27-10. Packers win 28-23. In a close game, uh, Russ Wilson couldn't get the comeback done. Uh, Chiefs winning 35-24 after being down 10 points against the Titans. And then, the you know, this is inflated numbers. Uh, Four Niners ruled at halftime. And, yeah. And, they well, they shut out the Packers at halftime. So, 49ers and Chiefs in the Super Bowl. And as you can see up here, the Kansas City Chiefs beat the San Francisco 49ers 31-20. So, so, yeah, congrats to the Kansas City Chiefs. This has been... A great NFL season, um, and I can't wait for next season. Hopefully, Minnesota going to Tampa Bay, um, but we'll have to see. You know, the third year under Kirk Cousins, make it or break it. Uh, but at least we'll get you know our, our money back after next season if we don't resign him. So yeah. So um, to the Chiefs, how about them Chiefs? So. Um, yeah, that's, you know, just congratulations to Chiefs right there. So, this has been Mr. Vikings Man 28, and as always, Skull.